What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. It's Friday. Gonna have a great weekend. A little chilly. A little chilly. We've got the uh, shop is packed here. Um, you know, we're just uh, we're hamming and jamming. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I got another tool video coming out here shortly. But I had to come on with this Icon Epic Fail. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'd like to say I told you so, but I don't think there's really any surprise to anybody that uh, there's some issues. Um, you know, Icon has not had the research and development put behind it. It hasn't had the time behind it. Um, yeah, there's going to be hiccups when you come out with stuff like this, but this is a pretty major fail. Um, you know, ratchets have been around for quite some time. New designs, 92 designs are not new. Um, Mac Axis has a 90. Their their Max Axis ratchets are 92s, and they are freaking awesome. That's my favorite ratchet right now. Um, I don't use ratchets all that much, but uh, you know, you still do use them. And uh, when it comes to a tool company, the heartbeat of the tool company is ratchets and sockets. And uh, if you're not producing that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, that stuff's, uh, they put that out like, uh, they put it out too fast. It was almost like a wet fart. <laughs> um, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Harbor Freight is the Walmart of the tool industry. They're not making their own product. Obviously, they're not putting the R&D into what they're doing. They're just kind of taking people's word for it. And guess what? That's not how it goes. Sorry, people. Um, you know, I got a parking lot full of cars, um, you know. Let me, I don't know if I can flip this thing around here, but I got, I got, I got cars all over here. Dead, 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 you know, um, we got about 20 cars. Just pushed one in the shop. I'm out in a test drive. It's cold day. Just thought I would throw this one out here real quick. Um, am I dogging on Harbor Freight? Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they're as good a company as what most of these people try to put out to them being. Um, is there a bunch of sellouts? Yes, there's a bunch of sellouts. Um, let me give a quick shout out to Redemption Garage. I still think that guy's awesome. Glad he got his tools. He deserved them. He's about the only one. Um, anybody else after that, I'm really not even, I'm not a fan of anymore. Um, I think that, uh, there's people out there buying their stuff and doing videos and, you know, I, I, got, I guarantee you Harbor Freight doesn't give anything to them now after this. I mean, this is a pretty big blow to them. Are they professional grade? No, they're not. We, they, they proved that they're not professional grade. Ratchets are pretty standard, um, standard business. And, you know, I can go on any tool truck and when they come out with a new ratchet, they're pretty good. I did see a, a video about a Matco ratchet that the guy's having problems with, but it's not a new ratchet. Um, and it's one ratchet. Um, everybody else has already, <coughs> already proven that they like those and they're good ratchets. So, um, I'm not going to go into detail about this. I mean, yeah, there's been recalls and stuff before. I know if you Google stuff, you'll see um, Snap-ons had recalls and stuff for it. Has it been ratchets? No, it hasn't been. This is uh, this is basic stuff, guys. Basic stuff. Um, I'm not saying, you know, the thing about it is, is what I don't like about Harbor Freight is, is that they push the, the Chinese crap. And you know what? As us as, us as uh, mechanics... The tool trucks, we, we, there's, I, I don't think there's a mechanic out there that gets on a tool truck that doesn't cry to their tool man and tell them, hey, why can't this shit be made in America? Um, you know, for instance, locking pliers, there's a single one of those that are made in America anymore. You know, this is the crap that I'm talking about. Bringing back quality to the industry. You know, I mean, how many of you guys have a Ford Pinto that, uh, you know, somebody's out there dying to get, you know, that's a cheap car back then. Nobody has any money. Nobody has any time or money invested in it. It's not like a, you know, a, a 60, 65 Chevelle or, you know, anything that's of any value. Quality is quality. Period. Understand that when you're down there and get ready to blow up that comment box. Quality is quality. If you want to buy cheap crap and you only have that to, and you can afford that, then do it. That's fine. If that's all you can afford and you just are a DIY guy, you don't understand professional mechanics. That's all there is to it. If I bought a cheap scan tool, I would never get my job done. Never. I mean, a cheap scan tool, in, in that in retrospect, a cheap scan tool is like $2,500, bucks, $3,000. Um, and, and I still have to have like five or six of them. 
you know, when you look at the Ford IDS and, and the Chrysler and the, and the GM, all that crap is expensive. I don't buy, there's nothing I can buy that's cheap. You want to repair your car with cheap crap? Go to AutoZone, have them read your code. Tell me how that works out for you. You know, this isn't, this isn't a game of, you know, who can buy the cheapest tools. This is a game of getting a job done. And I want the tool that's going to help me get it done faster, efficiently, and, you know, with respect. And, and I can have pride in it. So, you know, I, I don't, you know, I applaud Harbor Freight for coming out with their um, genuine and heartfelt apology for their recall. But I told you so. Icon is garbage. Um, it's just another cheap tool line. And we've seen it all through the years. You know, my 20 years of being a mechanic, I started off buying bench stop stuff. I do have Harbor stu Freight stuff in my box. I'm not going to say that all Harbor Freight stuff is complete trash, but I don't count on it from a day-to-day -day basis. I will buy my Snap-on sockets. I will buy my Mac sockets. I will buy my Matco stuff because I'm looking for the best tool to get the job done, something that I can rely on. When you use it over and over <clears throat> and over again, repetitively you need quality okay and if it can up if it can withstand those kind of rigorous um you know testing and and well it's not testing if it can up if it can uphold to all that rigorous use then it's a good tool and that's why we buy the stuff out the tool trucks there's not a guy out there i've seen mechanics before they get on the tool truck and if it's made in china they bitch why am I paying all this money for it? It's a cheap piece of crap, and I'm not going to... That's what the guys are complaining about. They're on the tool trucks. I complain about it. We talk about it all the time. If it's made in Taiwan or China, then why do I have to pay a premium price for it? Well, that's because of the warranty. You know, there's some shit out there that just is made in China that works well, but the warranty's good. Harbor Freight has a lot to learn. They are new to the tool game. They're new to getting into the professional mechanics industry. And they're, they're just breaching the doorway. Um, there's a lot of basic people out there giving basic comments, basic videos about this trash. Okay? And I can tell you right now, if you're following me, it's because you're a professional mechanic and you understand quality. If you're getting upset about it, then that means that you're either, you're, you're just pissed off and you got a little bit of a, you know, issue, or you don't understand it. You just don't understand it. Watch my videos, guys. Look at the other ones. My tool, my tool cart, uh, uh, toolbox tours, stuff like that. You know, my tool hauls. I don't dog. I'm not dogging on on Harbor Freight is saying that their shit is bad. I'm saying the company has issues. Um, and of course, I've heard people in videos say that they understand they have issues. But the bottom line is, is that they need to be promoting if they want to go professional. Then they better giving it, be giving it to guys that can do professional work with it and give back professional opinions. You know, giving it to your DIY guy is not it's not conducive to finding out the right deal. Uh, you know, if I if if Icon wanted to walk in my shop and give my guys tools, I'd be all for it. You know, I'd say, hey, guys, test this stuff out. Let me know. I'm gonna give you an honest honest review on it. I don't want their stuff. I don't, you know, I don't want Harbor Freight to do that because my channel isn't about that. But it, it, for, I got guys that could use it. You know, they're they're struggling. I don't need it. I literally have tons of ratchets and sockets. Don't need any of that stuff. Not looking for any of it. My channel isn't about that. My channel is about giving honest and and you know good reviews and stuff that's that I feel is going to be long lasting and you know it, it, it upholds to the the industry that we're in you know <clears throat> diy guys you don't need to buy professional shit you don't need me on a tool truck I, i'm not saying you do there's no reason for you to because it's just not in your wheelhouse if you're using a so if you're using a 15 millimeter socket twice a week you don't need a professional tool truck. i use a 15 millimeter every day um you know a wrench you know when, you, when it breaks on you, that's the whole thing is, is when it breaks on you, it's frustrating. So, I'm, Harbor Freight has stuff that doesn't break on you every day. And I have stuff that I use that doesn't break every day that is Harbor Freight. The environment that it's in is all that matters, okay? I, I don't care about the price. I really don't. If it's a good tool, I'll buy it. I only buy Snap-on torque wrenches because they're trusted. They're proven. 
That's what it's all about. Proven quality and performance. I'm going to wrap it up with that, guys. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe, smash that like button, smash, ring that bell. Let me know how you feel. Shoot me a finger. Hit that down button if you didn't like this video. It is what it is, man. And, uh, you know, hey, for you guys that want to do the fat jokes, be original. Okay? I'm sure a Pope's heard a Pope joke. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> you guys are just awesome. All you viewers. I'm over 500 now. Uh, I like it. I like the feedback I'm getting. I like the community that this is behind. Um, I like the people who, you know, you're about giving your opinions. You're, you're all worthy of giving your opinions you know that's what this is all about if everybody had the same opinion we'd all get along you know that we'd all be boring okay so you're not supposed to like everything that i say that's the whole point i'm not a politician I'm not running to be a mayor I'm not running to me you know i'm not doing anything i'm just giving you my opinion because i'm tired of looking at some of this shit and you're getting skewed views of garbage Thanks for watching. Love you guys. CP the Tool Addict. Gotta get back to work. Get ready for that next Tool Hall video coming out soon. Ta-ta.